In most instances, when a molecule has a chiral carbon or multiple chiral carbons, the molecule is also chiral. But that's not always the case. If you're being asked to determine whether or not a molecule is chiral, you have to consider not only whether the molecule has chiral carbons, but you also have to consider whether the molecule has symmetry. If you have a molecule with one chiral carbon and only one chiral carbon, chances are very high that the molecule is going to be chiral. There might be some exceptions to this, but I can't think of any. So I, I hesitate to say always, but I'm pretty sure that always, if the molecule has only one chiral carbon, then the molecule itself will be chiral. If the molecule has two or more chiral carbons, then we don't necessarily say, we can't say with confidence that the molecule is going to be chiral or not. So it is going to be either chiral or it might be achiral. And in order to determine the status, chiral or achiral, of the molecule, you have to look at the molecule and look for a plane of symmetry. If a molecule has a plane of symmetry, that molecule is always achiral. Does not matter how many chiral carbons it might have. So here is an example of a molecule that has four chiral carbons. And if we were asked the question, is this molecule chiral or not? We would, because it has four chiral carbons, we would need to ask ourselves if we can find a plane of symmetry. A plane of symmetry is a line that you can draw through the molecule that um, will divide it exactly in half so that the left half of your, of your line and the right half of your line are perfectly identical to each other. So for example, if we tried to draw a line through the molecule like this and we compare the left side to the right side, we can see that those two sides are not identical, mostly because of the differences between the bromine and the chlorine. Uh, if we tried to draw a, a line like this, and you can definitely, when you're drawing or looking for a line of symmetry, you can definitely cross right through atoms the way that I've done right here because um, the left half of a chlorine atom is identical to the right half of a chlorine atom. So that is allowed. But this also is not a plane of symmetry because we have a bromine on one side and a chlorine on the other. Sometimes the plane of symmetry does not necessarily draw through or go right through atoms like the two that I drew here. For this molecule, the plane of symmetry is right here. It does not cross through any atoms. It just crosses through bonds. And the top half of this plane of symmetry is identical to the bottom half. So because we do have a plane of symmetry in this molecule... It is an achiral molecule. So a plane or a line of symmetry means that this molecule is achiral. We have a special name for molecules like this that are achiral even though they have two or more chiral carbons. These molecules are called meso uh, or meso compounds, which is defined as an achiral molecule with chiral carbons.